నమస్తే శ్రీరామ లవ్ అండ్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ ట్వంటీ వన్ దర్ ఇస్ ద నెగటివ్ ఎయర్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఎనీ మైక్రోమీటర్ ఇఫ్ ద మైక్రోమీటర్ గివ్స్ ద రీడింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్టీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ త్రీ ఎంఎం దెన్ వాట్ విల్ బీ ద యాక్యురేట్ రీడింగ్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ ఫార్టీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ మిలీమీటర్ ఆప్షన్ బి ఫార్టీ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ త్రీ మిలీమీటర్ ఆప్షన్ సి ఫార్టీ పాయింట్ టూ త్రీ మిలీమీటర్ ఆప్షన్ డి ఫార్టీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ జీరో మిలీమీటర్ ఫర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ ఫార్టీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ మిలీమీటర్ so for negative error the formula is for this questions the actual reading is equal to micrometer reading plus negative error here in this questions the micrometer reading is that is if the micrometer give the reading of 40.53 so we should write this value 40.53 mm so plus negative error is then there is a negative error that is 0.03 mm so instead of negative error we can write 0.03 mm so if we had these two numbers that is 40.53 plus 0.03 mm then the actual reading is equal to 40.56 mm for the question number 121 the correct answer is that is option a 40.56 mm So next question is the subscribe this channel click the bell icon and also share this video to your friends on Facebook and WhatsApp group for more videos check the playlist or home page of this YouTube channel so question number 122 choose a drilling machine for a drilling multiple holes of large diameters option a since tube bench drilling machine option b pillar drilling machine option c column drilling machine option d radial drilling machines for this questions the correct answer is option d radial drilling machine so radial drilling machines it is the largest and most versatile used for drilling medium to large and heavy work piece it can be readily adjusted around the column in any position over the work to get different size and shape of of works shapes of hook for question number 122 choose a drilling machine for a drilling multiple holes of large diameters so correct answer is that it's option d radial drilling machines Next question, question number 123. By smelting iron ore, we get option A, cast iron, option B, pig iron, option C, wrought iron, option D, low carbon steel. So correct answer is option B, pig iron. So pig iron is the intermediate product of smelting iron ore with a high carbon fuel such as coke, usually with the limestone as a flux charcoal and anthracite have also been used as a fuel so question number 123 by smelting iron ore we get the correct answer is option b that is pig iron next question question number 124 the heat treatment of steel to obtain softness improved machinability increase ductility to relieve internal stresses and to refine the grain size is called option a annealing option b nitriding option c tempering option d hardening for this questions the correct answer is option a annealing annealing it is a heat treatment process in which a material is taken to an elevated temperature kept there for some time and then it left to cool usually in the furnace to relieve internal or residual stresses to increase softness ductility toughness and machinability for question number 124 the heat treatment of a steel 
to obtain softness, improved miscibility, increased ductility, to relieve internal stresses, and to refine the grain size is called. Our correct answer is option A, annealing. Next question number 125. The size of an engineering wise is specified by the correct answer. For this options A, diameter of the handle, option B, width of the jaws, option C, gap between jaws, option D, length of the spindle. For the question number 125, the correct answer is option B, width of the jaws. So this is the diagram of bench wise. Bench wise is in a particularly attached directly to a workbench to hold the workpiece during operations such as sawing, planing and rolling. So for question number 125, the size of an engineer's voice is specified by the correct answer is option B, width of the jaws. Next question number 126, scribes are made up of option A, cast iron, option B, mild steel, option C, high carbon steel, Option D, stainless steel. Correct answer is high carbon steel. This is the diagram of scribal. It consists of a cast iron base and the center of which is a steel rod is affixed vertically and scribal is made up of high carbon steel and is hardened from the front edge. It is used for locating the centers round bars or for marking of the lines. So for question number 126, the scribes are made up of correct answer is option C, high carbon steel. Next question, question number 127, surface gauge is a option A marking tool. Option B, cutting tool. Option C, drilling tool. Option D, clamping tool. Correct answer is marking tool. Surface gauge, it consists of a cast iron base, a spindle and a scriber. The spindle can be set at any angle. Scriber can also be set at any angle and at any height from the base maximum up to the length of the spindle it is used for marking purpose so for question number 127 the surface gauge is a for this question the correct answer is option a that is marking tool question number 128 the portion of the hammer used for fixing the Angle is called uh, option A pin, option B face, option C check, option D eye hole. Correct answer is eye hole. This is a diagram of high, there's a handle of hammer. So, high, and high hole, a eye hole is a main for fixing the handle, it is a shape to fit the handle rigidly. The wedges fix the handle in the eye hole. So for question number 128, the portion of the hammer used for fixing the handle is called the correct answer is option D, eye hole. Next question, question number 129, an angle of PSW thread is option A, 45 degree, option B, 55 degree, Option C, 60 degree. Option D, 90 degree. So for this question, the correct answer is option B, 55 degree. British standard width uh, threads. So this is the diagram. So the angle of uh, BSW thread is, that is 55 degree. Correct answer is option B, 55 degree. Next questions, question number 130. Which of the following is the heaviest metal? Option A, magnesium. Option B, aluminium. Option C, 
copper option D lead for this question the correct answer is Correct answer is option D, lead. Here are some of the metals density specific gravity is given. So from first column, so that is metals is given. And the second column, that is the density respect to the metal and also specific gravity with respect to metal. So for magnesium, so that is the density is 0 0.064, specific gravity 1.77. Same for aluminum, that is 0 0.098, Specific gravity is 2.70. So for copper, density is 0 0.323. Specific gravity 8.96. Lead for density is 0 0.409. Specific gravity is 11.344. So in this question, they are asking which of the following is the heaviest metal. So far, we can observe this uh, column, this metal. So according to lead is the highest metal heaviest metal so the correct answer is for question number 130 which of the following is the heaviest metal that is correct answer is option d that is lead thank you for watching jai shri rama